And thank you for taking time to watch this video on setting up a ZTNA, a Zero Trust Network Access Service with SonicWall Cloud Secure Edge, or CSE. Once you have added and configured your users in the CSE connector or connectors, you can now configure and publish services. To start, select the Private Access menu on the left of the CSE Command Center, and then the Infrastructure submenu at the top of the page. Now we want to click on the Register Service button in the upper right of the page. This video will be focusing on configuring an RDP ZTNA service. So click on RDP service to start the configuration. First up is the service name. This will be the name of the service the user will see in their CSE client. This name cannot contain spaces. Then enter a description of the service for your users. Moving down to the cluster name, select Global Edge. In order to have the configuration start as soon as the user logs in, move the connected login slider to the right. You then need to configure the service domain name. This is a host name in FQDN format for the CSE client to connect to. We have provided a default CSE subdomain for all accounts which can be used for this example. This CSE subdomain can be found in the settings under certificates. For this CSE org, I'll be using rdp.cse-demo-1999.bnnedge.com. Make sure that you replace the wildcard asterisk with a host name of your choice. Leave the port as 8443. Now that we have a service domain name set, we can choose what resources we want to allow the users to access, a single remote computer or multiple remote computers. This video focuses on a single remote computer, but additional information on other options are available at the CSE documentation website. For this, use fixed backend domain. Now we need to configure CSE to point to the internal server you want the user to connect to. This can be either a host name or IP address and the port the server is listening on. I'll set this to the internal IP address of the server, which is 192.168.168.105 and the default RDP port of 3389. Finally, attach a policy. For this, I'll use one of the default policies of all users and devices infra. Last but not least, click the register service button to save the configuration. You have now configured an RDP service that can be accessed remotely through the CSE platform.